As the soon-to-be wife of Prince Harry, saying American-born Meghan Markle is under a bit of scrutiny is an understatement. Like many of us, she has enjoyed a social media presence over the years, but there are some things the royal family wouldn't want you to see. Although she's recently deleted her social media, the internet never forgets. If you do want to see the latest videos from The Taco, be sure to subscribe. And leave us a comment for a chance to win a $50 Amazon gift card. Now, let's take a look at those photos. Sweet Hints Blossoming romance is always exciting, whether the guy you're swooning over is a prince or not. We don't blame Meghan Markle for gushing a bit on Instagram when she first started dating Prince Harry. Like when she posted a gorgeous bunch of pink and white peonies with the caption, swooning over these, and included the hashtags London, peonies, and spoiled rotten. Gee, we wonder who sent her those. They said that food is the way to a man's heart, but we think you're supposed to feed them, not post food pics on Insta. But Megan posted a picture of a cookie that says, kiss me along with London, and we were able to pick up on the subtle message to Prince Harry. For a healthier treat, she also posted a picture of two bananas cuddling. Wait, is it spooning if it's bananas that are doing it? Swimsuit snaps Is it really a beach vacation if you don't post some enviable pictures of you in a swimsuit taking in some surf, sun, and sand? Meghan Markle takes it to the next level in this photo in which she shows off her flexibility and yoga ability on the beach. An impressive photo for sure, but one we are guessing the royal family wouldn't want floating around of its newest member. When the ocean isn't around, she's also happy to post photos of her relaxing in gorgeous tropical swimming pools, naturally showing off her impressive figure in a bikini. And of course, there is also a picture of her relaxing in a pool with a glass of wine within arm's reach. Hey, it's a vacation after all. Although vacations do come with a downside, like when your bare legs get bitten up by mosquitoes and dabs of calamine lotion are your only hope for relief. Bedtime Meghan Markle likes posting photos of herself relaxing at home, but these seem like the sort of pictures that we expect from members of the Kardashian clan and less from a member of the royal family. And naturally, like many homebodies, Meghan spends a lot of her time in her bed, which is reflected in her photographs like in this classic mirror selfie. Sometimes she's not alone in her bed, and she isn't shy about showing off photos of her cuddling up with one of her beloved rescue dogs in bed. And just to round out the trifecta of cliché bedtime pics, we also have one of her obscuring most of her face as she cuddles over her pillow. Basic Picks Okay, it might seem like a strange rule that members of the royal family don't have personal social media accounts, but there is some merit to it. It's hard to take someone seriously as a dignified member of the royal family once you have seen them with that ridiculous but pervasive dog Snapchat filter on their face. Actually, if everyone could agree to stop using that filter, that would be terrific. And in case you weren't sure at this point if Megan enjoys an occasional glass of wine or not, here we have a photo of her double fisting glasses of it. Efficient, perhaps, but we can safely say it's probably not the classiest of pictures, even though we may or may not be guilty of such things ourselves. We also found a picture of her wearing a peach bridesmaid dress in a friend's wedding, which we're sure the bride assured her she can totally wear again after the wedding is over. Throwbacks. Meghan Markle's life wasn't always as glamorous as it is now, and she's not shy about showing the way that it used to be on Instagram. This picture of her on a trip at 19 years old is a stark contrast to her trips as an adult. She even admits in the caption that she was trying so hard to be grown up. Don't worry, teenage Meghan, you'll get there. Then we have the adorable baby photos, of course, including a photo of infant Meghan snoozing on her dad's chest, while her dad, Thomas Markle, looks pretty over the whole thing. There's also an adorable photo of her as a baby on a picnic with her mom, Doria Radlin. At least Meghan's mealtime pics are considerably classier nowadays, and even though they're much older now, Meghan still loves showing off pictures that show how close she is to her mother. Scandalous Outfits Sure, we aren't afraid to applaud Meghan Markle for her fashion sense, but not all of her outfits are ones that the royal family would approve of, including this pic of her wearing a crocheted watermelon bikini. But it's not all lounging by the pool. Meghan Markle is seen here wearing a very provocative outfit on the set of a photo shoot. Meghan Markle is an actress and has done a lot of modeling work, so it stands to reason that she's had to don many revealing outfits in her line of work. Even a pretty standard yoga getup can be considered scandalous if we are going by the standards of Buckingham Palace. But when she's at home, it seems that sometimes she likes to relax in a more casual but very leg-bearing outfit. The Tig 
Like many people who love to travel and have the means to do so frequently, Meghan Markle once maintained a lifestyle blog called TIG. Just as her social media accounts were shut down, so was the TIG, with this one farewell collage for her loyal fans. Many of her favorite posts for the TIG made their way onto her Instagram, including this one which shows her in front of graffiti that says, you are loved. It accompanied a post she'd written containing advice to single people. However, we suppose her days of dishing out dating advice are over. We're sorry to disappoint fans who enjoyed following Meghan Markle's clothes and shoe shopping and dining excursions, but it looks like those days, like the TIG, are long gone. Suggestive Picks as the newest member of the royal family, Meghan Markle needs to pretend to be posh, meaning that a lot of her jokes and pictures aren't suitable to be seen. Sure, this might just be some scandalous packaging on a pair of pajamas, but we are guessing the queen wouldn't find it amusing. This photo showing Meghan giving Suits co-star Patrick J. Adams a quick peck on the cheek became a huge deal and earning the pair a lot of public backlash. There are also a few pictures that allude to a party-friendly lifestyle. Instead of sipping on wine, we see Meghan hanging out on the beach with a can of beer, which is much less classy. There's also the pictures from Ibiza showing Meghan and friends partying with tequila sodas. Wine time. When Prince Harry and Meghan Markle began their romance, everyone was eager to know just how these two crazy kids met and fell in love. Although Markle tried to stay hush-hush to respect her friend's privacy, many people speculate that the setup was the work of designer Misha Nonu. This casual photo of Misha and Meghan enjoying some wine is something we would take with our besties ourselves. But it's also the sort of casual girls' night that doesn't quite fit the proper image of the royal family. We also see Meghan enjoying a relaxing night in with just her two dogs, Bogart and Guy. And no Friday night in on the couch would be complete without a big glass of wine. Hey, at least she's in her clothes and not in pajamas like the rest of us would be. Sneaky Hints at first glance, this photo might seem pretty innocuous, but it caused quite the stir in the early days of courtship between Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. Notice anything strange in this photo? Eagle-eyed viewers and royal family devotees may notice that the bracelet she's wearing is very similar to the one that Prince Harry has been known to wear. This left many of us wondering if this photo was a subtle hint about their burgeoning relationship. Being fixed up with a date is still more prestigious than meeting on Tinder, but our favorite couple won't admit who set them up. Some believe it's designer Misha Nanu, but another popular speculation is Violet von Westenholz, as seen in this now-deleted Instagram photo. Von Westenholz is the PR director for Ralph Lauren and the daughter of a baron, so she's in no short supply of connections. Famous Friends even if they aren't setting her up with princes, Meghan Markle has a lot of high-profile friends that she loves taking selfies with. Here's a summary snap of her with her best friend and fashion designer, Jessica Mulroney. The pair took a trip to Italy together, and Meghan claims the motto of their trip was eat, pray, love. Of course, sometimes she's up for a more casual, friendly jaunt, such as when she biked around the Soho farmhouse with Millie McIntosh. You might recognize Millie from the reality show Made in Chelsea. And it seems that even Meghan Markle can't escape the allure of everyone's current favorite musical, Hamilton. Here we see her and her pal actress Priyanka Chopra taking in the biggest show around. Based on her now defunct Instagram, it seems that Meghan Markle was schmoozing with celebs and stars long before she met Prince Harry. Holidays an American marrying into the royal family has been huge news and has been controversial to some, but we wonder if Meghan Markle will be able to give up her love for Thanksgiving. Her shades lead us to believe she might be celebrating it somewhere sunny, but here we see her smiling while looking at a massive turkey, just like so many other Americans. And Thanksgiving isn't the only holiday she's proud to celebrate. She's also having a bit of fun here with an oversized sweater and an oversized jack-o'-lantern. We wonder how she will cope with the much more extravagant and much less casual holiday celebrations with her new royal family. At least we can enjoy the thought of the queen's face if she sees Meghan donning a pumpkin on her head. Fashion When she isn't showing off her holiday celebrations or her famous friends, Meghan Markle is known for giving us a glimpse at her impeccable fashion sense. Not only does this photo give us some good vibes, but a good look at her adorable kitty flats by Charlotte Olympia. In another casual scene on the set of Suits, we see Meghan dressed in a pair of flats, jean shorts, and a simple white button-down with oversized sunglasses. We love her sense of style so much, she isn't even able to hide it behind several bouquet of flowers. We see her casual ripped jeans paired with a white sweater and stylish camel coat. Even though this is a candid shot instead of a carefully posed selfie, Meghan still looks like a fashion model as she makes her way down the street. 
Nanu. For those of you that believe Meghan and Prince Harry were set up by Misha Nanu, we can't prove that conclusively. However, judging by her Instagram, we do know that Meghan and Misha are best friends. The two ladies took a trip to Spain together and met up with friend Marcus Anderson. Anderson is another contender for who introduced the couple, and the pair were spotted together during the Invictus Games opening ceremonies in Toronto. While we don't know if Misha designed Meghan's romance with Prince Harry, we do know she designs a lot of her clothes. Perhaps most notably, this white button-down husband shirt. In fact, it's the shirt that she wore for her first official appearance with her now fiancé, a subtle nod to the friend and fashion designer that set them up. Or merely a coincidence? We will let you decide that one. England It's no secret that Meghan Markle loves to travel, and we love seeing casual tourist photos from her soon-to-be home country. This photo was taken when Meghan and Prince Harry had just started dating, and Meghan was exploring the city that would soon become much more important to her. She even took some photos you might see in any tourist blog, including this one of the famous Victoria Memorial, located outside of Buckingham Palace. Maybe these were just a few shots of her vacation, or maybe they were a bit of foreshadowing about things to come in her near future. There is also this shot of a mysterious bearded man wearing a Golden Girls shirt. Now, Meghan has a ton of friends this could be, but many people have wondered if this could actually be a photo of Prince Harry himself. What do you think? Do you think Meghan Markle should still be allowed to have an Instagram account, or do you think that's a fair admission fee to be allowed into the royal family? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section, and don't forget to subscribe to The Taco for more awesome videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.